looks like we're now ready on the estate of Leanna Ruth Mickelson, um, 16400861-8. And um, Mr. Taylor, I'm not sure how relevant or not it is, but Mr. Luce did tell my clerk that something was posted by this um, moving party um, on Facebook. I'm not sure it's something I should be <coughs> reviewing or not. Um, I haven't reviewed it. I don't look at Facebook. I am aware that uh, there was a posting on Facebook or some other social media by the petitioner uh, that constituted a partial recording of our prior hearing here. Where she obtained this is uncertain, uh, but uh, I can confirm that it did occur. Okay. So before I proceed, um, Ms. Uh, Mickelson. Um, you know, I, again, I, I don't go on to Facebook for a very specific reason. I don't think it's, but... Um. <clears throat> you are correct. It was on Facebook and it was on YouTube. I made a public re records request after our hearing and paid $10 cash and received a transcript, audio transcript at the hearing. Is there anything illegal about a public transcript? No, I'm just saying it was something that probably, whatever it is, since we're aware of it, probably I'll and, ask. And, and I do want to just, for the record, it's case 16400861-8. Okay. So why don't we just go forward with the motion for today, and I'll ask, um, obviously, uh, I guess, court administration or presiding judges to whether it's something that needs to be filed or not. Um, but I have not reviewed it, so I'm not familiar <clears throat> with the content. So, Regarding something filed, was this filed in the court, or is this just no. like hunt stalking my personal Facebook? I, I'm just, is this a motion that was... No, no, I'm just saying that we were made, the clerk was made aware. Okay. So she had a responsibility to tell me I've not reviewed anything, and so I'll ask, you know, the presiding judge whether or not it's something that needs to be disclosed or not. I, I have not reviewed it, though. I have no idea what it is. So, Without that decision made, will that change the outcome of today's decision? Is that something we need to do a continuum on until you can talk to mm -hmm. Judge Tolleson? Judge Tolleson's retired. He's not... He's no listed as, I'm sorry, I'm not here every, well, I am here every day for the past month. Who is the presiding judge over my mother's estate? It's my understanding it was Tolleson. Um, yeah. Or, I, I'm, I'm, I guess C Cubberson is the presiding judge. He's the presiding judge. So I'm just saying, why don't you go ahead with okay. your motion at this time. Uh, this is regarding the estate of Leanna Ruth Michelson. My name is Heather Jean Michelson. I am the daughter of the deceased. Um, may it please, please the court. I presented four motions today. I'd like to visit two of them, the revision to correct the ruling from June 17th to correct the error. Um, I'd like to reserve the motion for disqualification of Lucent Associates and the motion for order of contempt for another time. There's three issues at hand in your ruling on June 17th, and that is why we are back here today. There were errors with my mother's community property agreement, which made the agreement that was filed four years after the execution of it, made it void and barred and unexecutable. It was improperly recorded. Further, on June 17th, it was in the Court of Appeals, therefore the Superior Court did not have jurisdiction. The issues are this. First, whether a community property agreement that has not been recorded is active or otherwise effective at the time of the descendant's death. Your Honor, if I may interject, this argument was already made in the prior hearing. If I'm not incorrect, a motion for reconsideration is designed to address new or unknown or and I arguments will, that were not entered in the prior hearing. And I object to that. The last hearing, it was not a fair hearing. He spoke 67% of the time. I got the other part. Should have been 50-50. Therefore, I bring up things that were not 
My the first issue is the motion to strike should have gone first. Further, not all parties were properly served. My twin sister did not know about that hearing. Therefore, Pierce County law states that a hearing cannot be heard until all parties are served. Further, they suggest sanctions for not serving all the parties. Okay, may I continue? Well, let me just say, you know, Mr. Taylor's right. There are two vehicles that you could pursue. And I actually... Although it wasn't phrased correctly, I kind of thought one of your filings was for <clears throat> revision. Um, a revision is a remedy that you have which allows you to take the entire record and you get a de novo review by probably Judge Cuthbertson or whoever's acting covering Judge Thompson's docket as he's retired and his position's not filled. Um, a reconsideration is a different type of proceeding and it is based on not just rehashing but something that was not known and needs to be presented so correct and the reason I did file this today was based on your advice after you made the ruling to dismiss was to file the motion for revision all I'm asking is for the court to what rule that my mom died without a will I don't hear the revision okay that's, I, that's, that's, I'm here to ask for you to strike your motion to dismiss from June 17th because on June 13th the jurisdiction was moved to the Court of Appeals. So, Therefore, you had very limited jurisdiction to rule anything. So let me hear Mr. Taylor on that one specific issue. I was aware that there was an appeal pending. So did that prohibit me from deciding the case on the merits? Your Honor, the uh, Court of Appeals specifically provided a letter to the parties that I attached to uh, my declaration in response to the motion for reconsideration. This was a motion for reconsideration, not a motion for revision. The uh, letter indicates that uh, they acknowledge that they received a notice of appeal. They indicate that the notice was filed prematurely and that the her petition was for a order of adjudication uh, of airship and the letter specifically indicates that the order of adjudication of intestancy and airship is not a decision of the trial court appealable as a matter of right under the rules of appellate procedure 2.1a and 2.2a now they have indicated in the letter that they've opened a file number allowing her the opportunity to subsequently file an appeal based on a final decision of the court. But this is not an open appeal from their point of view. It's nothing more than a placeholder giving her the opportunity to file an appeal when an official decision is made. And so our position is that this court still has jurisdiction to make this decision, and it has the jurisdiction to dismiss the case as it did in our last meeting. Okay. The, uh, he is correct. The jurisdiction is in now, currently. Actually, he's incorrect. It is in the Court of Appeals and not here in Pierce County Superior Court. Court of Appeals is currently in place. The court will issue an order for motion to dismiss, but not until August 15th. I still have the option of providing them with an order, which is subject today, and hopefully the court uh, will correct the, the dismissal, and it won't be necessary to go through the Court of Appeals. However, if the court does not correct the record, it will be promptly given to the Court of Appeals to retain jurisdiction that they already have. This jurisdiction ended on June 13th um, when the notice of appeal was filed, and at that point, this court had the very limited jurisdiction and certainly not the jurisdiction to dismiss my mother's entire estate when not everyone was present. So what about the issue? I know there are letters from the brothers, but what about notification to the sister? Well, Your Honor, I provided uh, notice to both Heather and her sister in open court on June the 8th in the ex parte department. 
And to prove that, I have a copy of the JA's letter, uh, the notes from that hearing that indicates that, quote, Petitioner Heather Mickelson is present with Gail Mickelson, her sister. I served them both in open court, as well as providing notice to our client, James Mickelson, as well as to his two sons, Scott and Eric, who are present in the gallery today. And that is incorrect. It's why my sister is not here today, because she's not being served. She had left to pay for parking and to charge her phone, so she did not get any certificate of service, nor did she approach you in any way. You did serve me, which is why I'm here. You? Yes, me. You what when she were standing side were two, were two, okay. she was not. She was not before the commissioner. So at this point, I'm going to maintain my decision. You certainly um, can... Again, I'm not sure if you've timely filed for revision. That's before the trial department. Um, so, I'll Your, Your Honor, I still haven't been able to present my case. So when you've made a decision, what is what law is it based on? You basically, the main argument that you made that would be in front of me for reconsideration is I didn't have jurisdiction based on the pending appeal. I don't believe that's what the record um, supports based on the letter from the Court of Appeals. And so I do find that I had the ability to make a decision on that day. Okay. Your Honor, there was a ruling. What is in the Court of Appeals is the ruling from May 16th of Commissioner Kirkendall, who ruled indeed my mother passed away without a will. This is probate court. CPA, so she ruled that. I filed it. The clerk shredded it. I have then transcribed it and submitted it, and per the legal advice from my mother's friend, who is a former judge in Tacoma Municipal Court, that if I transcribe that ruling and submit it, which I have, then that is a ruling, that a determined ruling. Whether the clerk shredded it or not is, is irrelevant. So therefore, I want you to confirm today that my mother passed in test state without a will. You know, I, I am, frankly, I'm not in a position to make that. Nor are you in a position to dismiss my mother's entire estate until that ruling of intestacy can be looked at by the Court of Appeals, Your Honor. Okay. So at this point, I'm just reaffirming my ruling, and you certainly have every right to pursue a revision, as I advised you the last time. Okay. So just to confirm, there's going to be no order signed, or there is an order? I just going to say that you brought your motion for reconsideration, and the court denied the motion. Okay. So you're denying the motion to correct a clerical error as well that I filed with the court by <clears throat> reconfirming this order. Well, Claire, you said that I didn't have jurisdiction based on the... Pending a correct, and so I presented a motion to correct the clerical error that you did not have jurisdiction, and I still say that you did not. I don't find that there's any basis for that assertion. Then I would like you to deny it so that there is a record that you denied to fix a clerical error. I don't know that it would be a clerical error. Clerical error is like making a ruling that's that not would a not be clerical error. Then I would like to pursue them. Um, I did ask to reserve the motions for contempt and to disqualify, but since we are here today, I'd like to move forward with those. Well, if this case is resolved, then there's no... It's not resolved. Um, Mr. Luce is actually a former, uh, okay. a former client of his, and I have gotten approval for the motion to be heard, to disqualify, and for contempt of my father for selling off my mother's assets, which still include five properties. Um, only one has been made public record so, for the CPA. So it is my right to have these motions not heard. This case is and resolved, and so I've dismissed the case. So there's nothing to be heard. So. Your Honor, we work for the people, and I understand camaraderie and friendships amongst the bar, but the law is the law. And I have the right for my motion to disqualify my attorney. There's an open bar complaint against them. There's a conflict of interest, and you are ruling in their favor. And I get that you guys are friends. It's fine. But the law is the law. My mother lived here for 42 years and was a taxpayer to Pierce County. We, the people, 
pay your salary. You are wasting my dad's money. You are wasting my time because you cannot make a ruling that my mom died without a will. Again, it is my human right. It is my mother's right to Again. rule that there was not a will. She had 40 days for somebody to come forward with a will. It's been four years. I think it's fair for you to make that ruling. At this point, I'm leaving my order as is. You have every right to file a revision. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you.